The Centre of Excellence in Food Security was established with quite specific mandate to undertake transdisciplinary research. In other words, the idea here is that issues relating to food security, to malnutrition and to hunger can't be adequately analysed from within one discipline. Economics can only tell us something about the cost of food, its availability, the production of the food and so forth. Plant science can give us ideas about how to make food production more, interest, more, more sustainable, um, better able to deal with climate change. But on, its, on their own, these disciplines can't directly answer the question of what is food security and how do we make more people more food secure. So we therefore have come across um, a, a program of research that embraces a number of different themes. We look at food from the perspective of the system itself, the si asking the question, what is the food system producing? How does it produce food? How is it changing? What does this mean for the consumer? How can more people um, gain access to food that is produced by the food system? We're looking at the question of the, the, the plate itself. What food is on the, the, the consumer's plate? How did it arrive there? What role can be played by government in making that plate healthier, making that plate bigger? Um, we're asking the question, what is happening about child nutrition in South Africa? We're very concerned that child malnutrition in South Africa has not changed in 20 years. About one quarter of all children in South Africa are malnourished. So this project then starts to unpack the reasons for that. To what extent is that due to the diet of children? To what extent is that due to the socioeconomic conditions that children are living in? We're asking questions of the production and processing system that provides us with food. The key issue here is can innovation, can the work of scientists to develop new ways of doing things, new ways of producing plants, contribute to forward, towards food security? One of the things that is a deep concern is as climate changes, as we get greater variation in temperature and in rainfall, what plants are going to be able to cope best with climate change, particularly those plants that we rely upon for our staples. We're also looking at food security from the perspective of social policies. We know that many South Africans depend upon the, uh, the grant system in order to be able to purchase their food. We're looking at social protection to assess in what ways the grants can help people to become food secure. We're also aware that there are a number of social protection policies that are often not thought of as being Im important, um, but which directly assist f the food insecure. The example which we're focusing on are the school feeding programs, where schools directly are providing um, children with, a, with, with, with adequate diets. We're asking questions about the safety of food, and particularly the safety of food in a changing food system. Um, the listeriosis outbreak, I think, is on many people's minds at the moment. We were investigating this topic three or four years ago when we were starting to ask, how, does, how do we know that our food is safe and how can we ensure that our food remains safe despite the presence of highly, highly industrialized um, processing systems and highly concentrated distribution systems? Ultimately, in trying to understand how to improve the food system, we're reliant upon systems of governance, the rules and procedures, the institutions that govern the food system. These might include the Competition Commission, so who decides whether firms are adequately in competition with one another or are engaging in monopolistic practices, such as fixing prices as well as the role of local municipalities in enforcing rules um, and one set of rules that are obviously of interest to us are the rules that ensure that our food is safe. So we have on the one hand the biological issue of food safety but equally there are the questions of governance and regulation. How do local governments ensure that the food that, they can, that their citizens are purchasing is actually safe? So this is our governance program that is now looking into the both the, the governance issues associated with, with food as well as the institutions that are involved in food production. Here we've been working very closely with local municipalities as well as national. We have a project with the Western Cape government. We have projects with smaller government, municipal governments in rural areas. A last important concern of ours relates to the role of humanities in food security. What I've described so far is 
understanding food security from the perspective of social science, of political science, and also then working with people involved in food science or in plant science. But food is also something which is quite fundamental to the existence, the daily existence of humans. It's something which gives us pleasure. It's something which sometimes some foods we do not like. Um, there may be foods that we are forbidden to eat because of our religion. So the way in which this plays out, the way in which the humanities informs us about our relationship with food is also something we think is important and that needs to be investigated. To give an example, how we talk about food, how food is branded, how food is presented as being desirable or not desirable are all things that our colleagues in the humanities are trying to assess. To do that work, one of the more interesting projects that we've done, interesting in my view, was the production of a work of theatre where we tried to communicate to a broad general audience the relevant issues in food security. Issues such as why are some people vegetarians? Why do some people prefer the diets which have high levels of fat or salt? What is the role of health? What is a healthy human and how should people ideally look? These are the kinds of things we think ought to be discussed and discussed not just by scientists but discussed around the dinner table by, by, by consumers themselves.